introduction for the 18-year-old. Oh, spectacular! And it's it from Keane. And it's a Shane Long goal for Southampton. Christie. Johansson, Arter, goes for it! Oh, spectacular! What an introduction! Harry Arter with a beauty! And Fulham have stunned Villa here with two absolute beauties. Well, they back by Gardner, who had been a slight doubt for this game because of an injury. Oh, what a chance here, and it's a goal from Robbie Keane. Just five minutes in. And Fulham there were completely caught cold. It was a brilliant finish. In the second half, it was Goldman Street. But it's Tottenham who had the goals, and it's Roy Keane again. And Robbie Keane, I should say. Robbie Keane. And it wasn't that dissimilar to the first one. Magnificently taken, and it might just be now the goal that takes them through to the quarter-finals. It's Dawson, a bit ambitious, but he's found Harlan then. It's a cracking pass. Now there could be danger. Still Lennon, and it's in from Keane. It's a fantastic goal for Tottenham. What a pass that was from Dawson. Lennon then took up the reins, and there was Robbie Keane. The latest to join the 100 goals club. And they just know Newport to get around him when the ball goes into his vicinity. He's flicked the ball on, he's been a real threat for Middlesbrough all evening long. Wilmot's corner. Five in, oh, what a brilliant goal! Pouring him on with an FA Cup classic. Nigel, he's been a threat, now he's a goal scorer. That is a wonderfully worked corner kick. His movement is good, Wilmot finds him. 2-0 Newport, 2-0 that they deserve. Good enough today. Come on! They've pulled the goal back. Is there enough time for Newport County to now snatch an unlikely equaliser? Well, Manchester City sloppy in defence yet again. And it's Portrick Orman. Ground, and it's worked to absolute perfection as Matt Doherty heads Wolverhampton Wanderers into the lead at Wembley. No wonder they're absolutely proud on the bench and they're loud at that end of the stadium. Eda, who scores? What an introduction for the 18-year-old. Given his chance by Daniel Parker and taking his chance superbly. <laughs> Away by Davis. Ripley advancing. And Ripley way out of position as Norwich get their third goal. Well, he can do no wrong. And he can do no right. Here's Crouch again. Now Walters. These are dangerous times! And that's a fabulous hit! It's Jonathan Walters who comes good for stuff. Under pressure, but now they're back in front. by Hoots. This is Walters. Mark Davis trying to stay with him. Walters goes for it! What a magnificent goal! John Walters, against his former club, has fired Stoke City into their first ever FA Cup final. A quite extraordinary afternoon at Wembley. 4-0. Gascoigne, no chance again. Good strength, good power. Never even looks up. And 
That is how you finish. Here is Nathan Redmond. Maybe turned the wrong way, but it's pushed out. It must be an equaliser. Shane Long. Redmond shot, parried by Lloris. And it's a Shane Long goal for Southampton. Lloris has had a lot to do, and this time he didn't do enough. This is good, I see. The legs have been sewer. And a great ball! And a goal for Reading! It's Shane Long, and one of the shocks of the FA Cup season is now on. Great play down the right hand side, wasn't it, from the fullback Gunnarsson? Lovely little nutmeg on the Liverpool defender. He'd have to question the two centre halves of Liverpool, the marking in the box, but take nothing away from Reading. Fortune, he's going to get his cross in. Zetland back defending. Then Kurdru, Ronaldo. And it's in from O'Shea! Well, maybe something of a surprise that he was in the starting 11 as United so quickly into their stride take the lead. Early ball in, Coleman! Oh, brilliantly taken! Seamus Coleman with his first goal for two seasons. And Everton have a three-goal lead again.